Sir, you need to get in line. I'm not a patient. I'm... We've got a trauma coming in. Trish Stafford, 35 years old. VP is 100 over 60, pulse 150. Page water. Construction site scaffolding collapsed. Fell 20 feet, landed on a piece of rebar. We cut it off at the scene. Did he get anything for pain? Uh, uh, you can't be here. If the rebar punctured this femoral artery, it could be potentially lethal. Yeah, I know that. You got the head? Got it. I got the leg on three. One, two, three. I need an x-ray plate. You can't just show up here and volunteer as a doctor. I'm not. One, two, three. One, two, three. What the hell do you think you're doing? This job. Did you page vascular? They're on their way. Laura needs five. Sir, do you know where you are? Please get that thing out of me. <laughs> Not here. First we have to stabilize you, then we'll get you down to the OR. 100 mics, fentanyl IV push. The rebar may have hit an important artery. Believe me, you don't want it bleeding inside you. Dr. LeBlanc is going to tell us if it is. X-rays up. Femoral's great. Good pulses. It's your lucky day, sir. <laughs> Not yet. He has a ruptured spleen. I'll do a scan. <laughs> He's right. Good. And? I'd do a splenectomy right now. Maybe five years ago, not now. Dr. So Curtis, tell him why? Because it would be jumping the gun. First be CT to find out what grade it is. Dr. So LeBlanc, I can see you're dying to tell us what happens pending that outcome. I see you on monitor after the rebar's out. Get him to CT stat! Oh. There are thousands of pages of co-curricular reading, and you'll need to catch up. And next time you come to work, get changed first and find out where we actually want you to be. You may remember Dr. Hamid from two weeks ago when he drilled a hole in my head. He's one of you now.